a quirkle. Who would come up with a quirky idea like that? Well, that would be the three of us, the creative three, uh, myself and my sister, who's a marketing major, and Jesse Kuhn, who is the designer. Those three Missouri State graduates decided to fix a problem they were seeing in local classrooms. I noticed that phonics alone, uh, the kids just were not becoming excited. But when I incorporated science with it, I saw just this passion and excitement. When we started the Corporals, we had a concept. We wanted the science to be fun, it had to be hands-on, and it had to tie to literacy. What the surprise has been, however, is the various ways that teachers, and parents, and other educators have been able to incorporate the Corporals into their activities. After school programs, mentoring programs, regular classroom, libraries, uh, parents using the Corporals as enrichment at home, all have found creative ways to tie the corkles into their learning activities. A mentoring program that's been fun to watch grow and develop is the LEA Project. It's a program in Boston where emerging leaders, young high school students, go into elementary classrooms and work with those children to help engage them in science. Do you believe that Joda can grow the yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I can't get water. Me too. I, I can't get water. It's, it's only gas. Like, yes. Do you want to see how can we do that? Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. okay. going to put this in here and the soil is going to into the solder. See? <laughs> ah. oh. First and foremost, they obviously had to be fun. And not just cute fun, but sort of strange fun with a bit of an edge. Because uh, today's kids are just bombarded by imagery. And I wanted the Quirkles characters to, to really stand out and grab your attention through their bold color palettes, um, their peculiar lopsided proportions and uh, bodies that lacked somewhat of a traditional skeletal structure, I guess. have told us that they use the KOLR segments uh, to show their students and they're able to um, see how the experiments work. So it's really been a great resource for teachers and it has really broadened our market all across uh, the United States. Now this is what we call hydrophobic sand. All right. Water fearing sand. Water fearing, now, right. I'd Phobia. like for you to take okay. this sand and slowly pour it in the water. All Just right. slowly pour it. We're going to let it fall in there. Oh. Now notice what it what it does. First of all, it's kind of clumping it up after clumps it clumps together. Uh -huh. And I'm going to hold it up so make sure that the TV audience can see how it kind of forms a sculpture in the cup. In a Title I school, and many of my children 
come to me and have had no previous school experience when they come to kindergarten. There are not many gifted children from our entire building and the kindergartners, um, you know, we're, we're working on learning the names of our letters and learning to write our name when school starts. I have found that when I read the Quirkles books and we get into the experiments, it does not matter. They are all, all of them seem to be engaged and they're equally able to do what is in there and they learn from it. For me, seeing a teacher who is not excited about science become excited about science is the most rewarding part of working with the Corkles. Because I know that if that teacher is engaged, they will be the ones that will engage their students and will make them excited about science for the future. Seeing firsthand that something that you've been a part of creating is Benefiting children on a, a global scale is truly amazing. Kids learn best when they're involved and when they're moving and when they can talk while they're doing stuff. And, and that um, has really worked. I feel just so uh, tremendously blessed to be a part of a project that um, I love so passionately. The, the Quirkles are like my children and it's so much fun to get to share those with other teachers and Children. If you love the Quirkles, show me two thumbs up and a big smile. It's a dream come true. It's a dream come true.